hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our php oops tutorial so that is object oriented programming in php so guys as we have seen that in previous video we have done with the inserting of student data and now we are going to fetch all the student data and show in a php page using object oriented programming in php so guys now let's get started so we have the two records and now let's fetch that in a view student page okay so let's click on this view student and here you find the url student view.php file so let's create this file and design one simple table to fetch the data so okay let me just close all the files all set let's go to admin and create one file called student view.php and i want the same structure of this student add so let's move to student add and copy the file copy full thing and paste that and i don't need the form so let me just remove that form done and let's tell view student and we need to message to show if we want to show something over here okay and this is for the authentication purpose guys which we have made in part five and six done let's start with the table design so table responsive table dot table table bordered table head table row table heading so which will be one is id and second full name i required and then one course okay and one edit button and a delete button guys all set let's create a table body and inside this table body we are going to create table row table data where i am going to paste one dummy data over here and two input fields with the a tag one will be for edit let's design this as a button button success let's copy this and paste for the delete one okay danger delete now let's see the output for it let's go to view student here we are okay so this is the output and now guys i just wanted to fetch the data in this bootstrap table okay so now guys let's um, call the php over here and the php so we are going to call an object and fetch the data so let's create one student variable not student students is equal to new where we will tell student controller okay and this student controller is you can find that we have already created over here so while inserting the data so let's include this file at the top okay so let me just type include once function and inside this i want to so we are over here and it directly goes okay so let's move to controllers forward slash student controller dot php done it's included and now guys i want to create one function so first we'll create a variable the result where your student object of your what you want a uh, index function okay or you can create the get data also so index means it's like calling the index code so yep now let's create this function inside your student controller let's move to student controller and at the top let's create the function student function index function and now guys inside this let's write the query so let's tell student query is equal to select star from the student table so my table name is students over here okay so let me just copy this and paste here and now let's execute this query so dollar result is equal to dollar this of database connection 
of your query we are executing the query guys over here so now the query is executed perfectly and with this your result you are going to check any data is there or not first so let's tell in a if condition we will check that so dollar result has at least number of rows should be greater than zero if it has more than zero then you are going to get the data and now let's return the result so whatever the you have get the data right executed query result so let's send that so re return result else you are going to return false okay if there is no data that you are going to just make it to false and let's get back to our student view and over here let's continue so guys you are going to check this in a if condition so if if it is true then you are going to loop and get your data else you are going to tell echo no record found done and inside this when you check result you are going to loop that using for each loop so let's use for each function dollar result your got result as dollar row okay so let's take this row and you have to print that so let's divide this code in php and over here you need to get your table row done let me just add this and now guys let's open php is equal to close php dollar row of your table column field name so my table column field name will be like full name let me minimize the sidebar first so full name so first thing is we are getting the id then full name and then course guys so let's get the id first done full name and last was course done and these fields are just from my database let me just show you over here okay so full name email phone course so i'm just taking that full name and course and now guys let's see the output for this let's refresh perfect so we have got the data guys correctly if you want the remaining also like email and phone if you want to get you can just add on over here like email and phone so let me just add that column over here also so email and phone so save it let's refresh perfect so now guys we have successfully fetched the data from our database from the table in object oriented programming in php okay so guys thank you for watching this video and let's continue next video with creating our edit and update the data using object oriented programming in php so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share